Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, what is good, what is good, what is good? Of course, you know who I be, good doc, Dr. Mike TV, back again, once again, with probably a video that I did not see coming. Um, came across this article the other day, and it really did stick out in my mind in reference to this being one of the first times that I had ever seen this happen in Philippine history, okay? First time to the channel, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, do all the good things, make yourself well versed in the good docs content. All right, so the individual that we're going to talk about today is none other than a uh, Filipino-born um, individual by the name of Wesley So. Wesley So is a chess grandmaster and moved to the United States in 2014 and officially became a citizen of the United States in February of 2021. So now he's officially a uh, American citizen. Um, he was adopted. He had an adopted family that uh, raised him while he was in Minnesota. I guess they helped to train, get him together for competitions and things like that. By the names, they sound Filipino. Just can't clarify that real quick. But basically, what happened was in an upcoming chess tournament, uh, Wesley so opted to represent the United States of America as opposed to representing the Philippines. Now, this is a big deal. I, in my whole tenure going to the country back and forth, being where I've been, seeing what I've seen, I've never seen an instance where a Filipino-born citizen, now a citizen of the United States, has opted to represent their adopted country as opposed to their home country. And I think in a couple of international tournaments, you guys can read up on this if you want to, uh, Wesley So represented the Philippines in a couple of international uh, competitions, but maybe they didn't go well, I'm not sure. But it's interesting, because I never saw this coming. You know, Filipino people are full of pride. Filipino pride is a real thing. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Filipino pride is a real fucking thing. Say anything wrong about Filipinos in any instance, sometimes they're at your neck, all right? So it interests me that an individual who was Filipino born and bred, who, who was just raised in the United States, or grew up, not even grew up in the United States, just came to the United States seven years ago, now opts to represent their adopted country as opposed to, you know, the... Um, their home country. Now, this is not the first time we have seen this in reference to members of the United States going to represent the Philippine national basketball team in international competition. Uh, none other than Andre Blatch, who used to play in the NBA, who used to play for the Brooklyn Nets um, a few years back. And I still believe until this day, he still represents the international team. Don't quote me on that one. But a few years back, he opted to become a naturalized citizen in the Philippines in order to represent the country in international basketball play. Why is that? Andre Blatch wasn't necessarily the best basketball player in the NBA. Let's keep it a bucket a half. He was good. I've seen him play. I like Andre Blatch. Big dude. Big black brother. You know how we do. Um, you know, but if you think about all of the people to choose to represent Team USA, chances are he would not be one of them, okay? And until this day, I do not believe that he's, I think he's not retired or he's not playing in the NBA at all. Even since he became part of the international team in the Philippines, I don't believe that he's played in the NBA since then, if my mind recalls. Again, correct me in the comment section below. It is what it is. But going back to the individual Wesley, so the uh, chess super grandmaster, it um, it blows my mind that this is actually taking place. And you know what? I was reading the article, and what here's what blew my mind. Let me show you something real quick. I'm gonna show you what I was reading. So this is the article. Uh, let me get that back. Wesley so officially becomes U.S. citizen, but the first comment in the comment section. What is it? The first comment. Yep. You probably can't read it. I'm gonna try to make sure that I could get it. In there so you can read it what my man said right there he is a traitor and I think that might be some of the sentiments that a lot of people are feeling right now and that's what's really got me wanting to do this I've never seen a Filipino take um, you know represent their outside team when they could represent their home country there was nothing stopping him from representing his home country he's done it before but you got people who are calling him a traitor and all kinds of names because he's opted to represent the country that has given him an opportunity in fairness, I do believe that most Filipinos, if they had the opportunity to come to the United States and experience it, they would. No different than most of us foreigners. If we had an opportunity to travel and go abroad, most of us would. 
yours truly is one of those few. So the fact that they called him a traitor, that's what really intrigued me about this article. Is this man really a traitor? Do you think that this man is a traitor because he opted to represent the Philip, I mean the uh, U.S. team as opposed to the uh, Philippine team in the, uh, I guess it was a chess grandmaster tournament? Definitely something I want to hear from you guys. Would you consider this man to be a traitor or just a man that sought an opportunity and, you know, wanted to take advantage of it? You know, in the article, it also mentions something to the effect of, if I'm, I'm going to quote this real quick. He said, I wanted to give back to a country that has been so good to me. From the moment I landed here, I was encouraged and enabled to become a be to become better than who I was. I like the I like this attitude and the tremendous generosity of American culture. Hmm. Most people here have no idea what it is like anywhere else in the world, and they don't appreciate the amazing spirit of this country. That I can agree with. Uh, I have competed in most countries all over the world, and all I can say is I love it here. Hey, man, can't knock a man for taking advantage of an opportunity. That's one thing that I can't say. But it does baffle my mind that he opted to represent the U.S. team and not the Philippine national team. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This has been a good doctor. But that being said, good doctor is officially out. At least Nico. Which means I am going now. Bye-bye. Uh, As always, love you guys. Sincerely do. Mahakita. Mabuhai. Peace.